Mr. Brown. Take a seat. Mr. Brown, what are you doing? You told me to take a seat. No, no, I meant please have a seat. How can I have it if I don't take it? George, please sit down. I wish you'd make up your mind. So what seems to be the problem? You're the doctor, aren't you supposed to tell me what's wrong? Do you have any complaints? My neighbor's dog won't stop barking. I can't tell if I ran out of invisible ink. My other neighbor keeps wanting to borrow the ladder I stole from him. No, no, I meant, why are you here? Ain't you a doctor? Yes. Then obviously I'm here to see a doctor. Where's your wife? Parking the car. So your wife drove you here? No, I took a bus. Why did you take the bus? Have you ever seen the way my wife drives? No, I can't say that I have. Well, lucky you. She's such a bad driver, the plastic Jesus on the dashboard started wearing a seatbelt. Sure, it's not that bad. I'm sure you haven't seen the way my wife drives. What bus did you take? Obviously the one that comes here. It doesn't make much sense to take a bus that doesn't come here. What is your wife's name? Mrs. Brown. No, no, I mean, what do you call her? Well, it depends on how angry she is at me. Assuming that she's not angry with you, what do you normally say to her? Yes, dear. What else do you say? Whatever you say, dear. When your wife gets here, we'll go over your test results. Ooh, I hope I did well. I was up all night studying for the urine test. Better watch out for this one. For a doctor, he's not very bright. Now hush, George, and let the good doctor do his job. Good doctor? When he gets here, I will. So tell me, George, how long have you been happily married? Is there something wrong? I'm just trying to remember when I was happy and married at the same time. I'm sure it wasn't all bad. For 20 years, we were very happy. Really? Then what happened? We met. Try to be serious, George. I was being serious. So what is married life like? Well, it depends. Depends on what, George? On who you're married to. That's true. So what's it like being married to your wife? Well, she's very thoughtful. Can you give me an example? Just last night, I walked into the bathroom. She turned on the light. When I was done, she turned off the light again. Oh, dear Lord, he's peeing in the fridge again. I thought the bathroom was a bit chilly. Let's try a different line of questioning. So where do you work? I work on a road crew running the jackhammer. And how long have you worked there? Right up until I quit. Why did you quit your job? Every time I went to work, I got the shakes. We were operating the jackhammer. Yes, and you know how hard it is to keep that thing steady when you're shaking? So what do you think, doctor? Where shall I begin? I usually start with once upon a time. Physically, he's in excellent shape. Well, at least there's that. I'm sitting right here. Why are you talking like I'm not here? But he seems to use sarcasm when he can't remember something. Hello, you're still speaking about me in the third person. So he does have a problem, but he just won't admit it? Well, maybe he's just sarcastic. Oh, great, now they've got me doing it. From all the tests we've run, it appears to be an early onset of dementia. It's a load of bull. I, I want a second opinion. George. I am the second opinion that you requested when your own doctor gave you this news. I don't believe you. You and your wife came in a couple of hours ago. We chatted for a while. We ran a few tests. I don't yeah. believe you! George, what is your wife's name? I remember how much I love you. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry for. It's not your fault. I'm scared. It's okay, my love. We'll just take it one day at a time.